for me, it's always interesting to to work in genre, and this is a you know it's a it's a dark comedy that's also a social satire. So it gives you um, it gives you kind of a frame to tell your story, and that's always an interesting thing to do. I think these issues are always timely. I don't. I don't know that they. Unfortunately, that they ever go away. Where you see one community blaming or ostracizing another, um, you know. So un unfortunately, that seems to be something that follows us wherever we've gone in in whatever communities and nations and and time periods. So I think it's always worth exploring and and um, expressing. I play twin sisters Rose and Margaret. Um, the character of Rose at the beginning of the movie is married to um, Matt's character, Gardner Lodge, and they have a little boy. And she has been, um, she was in an accident, and so she's lo no longer ambulatory. So she's in a wheelchair for um, a lot of the movie. And she's not a tremendously happy person. Um, and you don't get the feeling that theirs is a happy marriage. And so she's the first s sister I play. And she's blonde, if that helps. <laughs> and then the other one, Margaret, is, um, is, is, is Rose's sister. And she seems to have a sweeter temperament. And she's sort of around to help her sister out and help with the little boy. The Myers are an African-American family who've just moved into the neighborhood, and I think when George was doing his work on the script, he went back to, um, to actual footage, newsreel footage, of people in, in um, primarily white neighborhoods talking about integration and how they were against it. And so he sort of spliced that throughout the film. Um, and obviously it makes the movie um, much more relevant. And as I said, you know, these are issues that don't go away, that haven't, that, that haven't gone away as long as there have been people around. and, and um, people from different cultures and ethnicities and you know there's we do have a tendency to blame the so-called you know outsider it has to be on the page who they are you have to take it from that you know the way they the way they speak you know how they use language um, obviously I'm playing both of them so they're gonna look alike you know so you you sort of you you know that and then you try to, to alter your you know, physiognomy where you can to, to, to make sure that they're slightly different. Um, I don't know, you know, I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a curious thing how people, you know, people ask how you do stuff. I don't always know, except that I do know that it is pretend. A lot of it is pretending. And so you're kind of, you have to put yourself in that head where you're just really imagining things. He's adorable. I mean, I, I think he's so, he's a, such a smart kid, and he's also very um, aware. You know, he, he, he really does notice what's going on around him, and he's interested in it. He's interested in, in what's going on in the set, and, and in terms of um, who the actors are, what they're saying, what's happening in a scene. You know, he makes a, he makes a very, very true connection. I've worked with lots of kids and some kids are more interested in the technical aspects and um, but Noah I think really enjoys the, um, the, the the emotional component of acting. I mean I think he really likes the relationships and 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 um, you know what's actually happening in the scene. Matt is very funny and has a a, a kind of um, extraordinary sense of of um, of that that that, <laughs> that character's dissolution and 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 yet his dis desperate desire to hold on to some sense of control, um, which is what makes it absolutely hysterical. I mean, it, it's what's interesting is watching all of these people try to exert their power, you know, what little power they have in their kind of tiny domain, and watch them all fail so tremendously. I think he's an incredibly generous person and a very, very generous director. I mean, he really wants everybody to be able to bring, you know, to bring themselves to something. He gives everybody time and a chance, and and he he also has a real sense of joy about about what he's doing and an interest in it. You know, he's there because he wants to be there. He's there because he wants to tell that story, and um, 
has a real appreciation for all the other people who are in the room too. I like when people's intentions kind of lead them the wrong way. I liked I like watching all the. I mean, obviously the dark the dark part of the script is is not very funny, um, you know. But but the sort of the bumbling nature of the crime and the fact that that everything that they intend to do kind of goes the wrong way and that they they continue to sort of you know mess the stuff up um, out of their own inexperience. Um, I mean, all of that seemed to be very funny to me. And as I said, you know, I really like style and I like genre. And so it's fun to be working within this kind of, you know, certain style.